Okay, y'all. You guys see this? These are my busted ass lashes. Um, so I had said that I was going to um, film and start talking again. And as you can see, my uh, tumor has uh, grown tremendously in the last couple of months. However, I have made the most amount of progress. Um, through my insurance so I am seeing a surgeon I actually have a CT scan appointment next week I'm waiting to hear back from another department for a let me see if I say this correctly laryngoscopy <laughs> mm. um, basically it's like a camera so they can see your voice box and your larynx it's affected the way that I talk um, because it's just it's overpowering um, and I think also it's the tumor itself is not painful, it's just um, comfortable and it is moving a tooth of mine um, because it's eating at my jawbone um, and so I think the nerve um, and the root, I don't know, I, I'm not a dentist and don't, nor do I know anything about teeth but that tooth is will sometimes hurt. I don't like I'm not afraid of talking and it's clearly noticeable and it's something that it's on my face now so people will be like you know is that the way she talks or people that know me um, and I'm not embarrassed and I figured you know what at this point I looked up on YouTube to see you know like procedures on um, I mean amyloblast amyloblast I can't, still can't say it even when I could speak I'll put it on I'll put it in the video um, and a lot of them were um, kind of like an update like after it happened after they had surgery um, and you know what that process was a lot of talking and whatnot and I figured that's great and all and I, I've read up a lot on um, surgeries um, and then removal of the tumor and whatnot and even my surgeon you know made me feel really comfortable and just said you know yes it's gonna be quite an intense procedure but um, there is light at the end of the tunnel basically and I just was like you know what this can't like all of this that I'm going through right now in my life although not all of it I can talk about nor do I wish because I just want to move on from it this is the one thing that I'm like I really need to document for myself and talk about it um and maybe there are other people that have this and it could be you know quite traumatizing to have this on your face and it could definitely play on your self-esteem and um bring you down I just figured you know what I'm just gonna I was supposed to do my lashes while I talk so you know let me do that let's just do that um I just want to have this for myself you know what I mean like I just where is my glue if y'all could see my desk right now so basically I want to just you know like a diary for myself for this process that I'm going through um not just uh, like the other videos that I watched where it was just kind of like life after which were still pretty cool and um, quite uplifting to be honest to see people you know fully recover and not have any you know extreme like facial I don't want to say issues but um like that it didn't affect their you know like everything looks back to normal I guess for lack of better words I can't quite think right now um but yeah I mean I honestly I'm at a point where I am just excited to get this thing out of my face <laughs> I don't even care yes I'm not gonna lie I've I have felt overwhelmed and I have cried because a lot of things happen in the span of like the beginning of 2018 to now March um, you know good and bad and then good turned bad and everything in between and um, but things are falling back into place and you know I come from a line of very strong women and I'm not gonna give up on myself and I'm at a halt I've already gained a little bit of weight not fully all of the weight that I've lost but I'm gonna get back on track I know I am um, and this definitely always helps me and I just, at this point, I want this vlog to just be about me. I don't want it to, you know, it has been about me, but it has focused a lot on my weight loss. And I don't, I just, I just want to, just want to turn on the camera and talk. Like, I'm basically at that point right now. For a moment, I did feel uncomfortable talking and it wasn't because of 
too much the visual part it was more it's just it gets tiring <laughs> like I get tired of talking now which really sucks because I'm a chatterbox but um, I've grown a little lisp if you can tell I mean I'm sure it's noticeable but um y'all I need y'all to pray for me um, so basically let's talk about the first consultation when I finally got my insurance to approve to go see um, the surgeon the specialist I am in the department of auto auto I cannot say it auto laryngology <laughs> I have a hard time saying it even before my tumor grew um, I swear like in the last two three months it's grown tremendously and um, but also because of the weight that I did lose it became more noticeable much more quick quicker quickly whatever uh so I finally you know after like six months I mean y'all know I have the videos of when I first was like I'm gonna go see a doctor and by that I meant like I had to go see my primary care physician had to go see a maxillofacial surgeon and all of that good stuff and I have a couple of videos talking about that but basically I had to go through all of that process for my insurance to say oh okay they can't do anything for you so you do need to go see a surgeon a specialty surgeon specialist at uh you know at a, at a hospital um and i i am at university of southern california usc if you're not aware of what that means um i have finally gotten approved so he has sent me to mm, i did the wrong one it's okay he has sent me to do several exams and my first consultation I went and he said, you know, you need a CT scan and MRA um, and a couple other things, which is what I'm working on next week. And then we're going to do a follow up appointment. And then in that appointment, from my understanding, I walked away, you know, with him explaining, like, basically at that point, you know, I'm probably going to give you a surgery date and let you know more details about that surgery and I figured you know what if I want to do something for myself that makes me happy and editing makes me happy uh, recording makes me happy it's what I really like doing um, and this again it's like I'm going through this with a purpose and I can't I've got to talk about this and you know the fact that I didn't really see that many videos of people you know I saw life after I'm like no you know I want life in between like this is what it looks like this is what I look like with this so if you have it god I suggest you take care of it as soon as possible like immediately it wasn't as visible for a very long time so it was in the back of my head and because it wasn't cancerous you see what I mean by talking because it wasn't cancerous I just didn't you know it wasn't unfortunately it wasn't a priority and I feel awful for saying that and I don't want to kick myself because you know there, I, I can't go back in time I can only move forward but you know the purpose of this is to share my experience and with that comes a little advice so my advice to you is go take care of it as soon as possible if you don't want to end up looking like me and my tumor is huge because I've got cheeks so if you don't have cheeks and it looks like this oh, it's gonna be bad so yeah that is uh, you know an update I have got to get the medical lingo a little bit better but and the best way that I can explain it and I dumb it down for myself is they've got to open up my calf <laughs> to take an artery to reconnect something here I'm gonna get more details and more paperwork when I see him so I'll definitely go into more details for those that want to know more medical terminology that day was a lot of information and I'm not gonna lie it was quite overwhelming and you know like a couple days later like I just felt like it just hit me like a ton of breaks and I just cried for days because you know he told me you know it, you know it's gonna be an eight hour surgery like that is scary to me um, and I didn't I it, you know the situation you know I thought it was gonna be a little bit easier than that I was not expecting that kind of news I am gonna have to be in the hospital for about a week and a feeding tube I have to wear a cast for about 10 days on my leg like and then you know after that I have to be on a liquid diet for like <laughs> Lord knows how long so I'm gonna be on a diet forcefully um, but I want to get you know get back on track at least get to the weight my lowest weight that I ever hit which was under the 300 mark because I'm definitely above it now for sure so that is basically like in a couple of minutes what has 
happened with this situation and I feel a lot better about it. I feel like I can't, I am ready for it. I am um, excited in, <laughs> in a very weird way. <laughs> Um, no, but I'm sure you all understand I me mean, like I'm excited to just get it out like it's it, I'm just excited I just want to recover and feel like myself again and um, But I don't want it to like anything in my life. I don't want it to interfere with the things that I love doing um, And for a moment, you know because it was overwhelming and piled up on top of all of the family drama and all of the you know <laughs> Personal drama with somebody else. I just wasn't picking up the camera because I just couldn't fake the funk and I didn't want to talk about it. And quite frankly, um, there's going to be legalities with one of my situations. Um, and I'm kind of over and like moved on past that. And I'll just let that take its course and get handled. So I'm not even going to deal with that bullshit. I want to mostly focus on myself. And part of my biggest situation for myself is this situation. And I want to be good for my son, Mr. CJ, who um, I'm pretty sure he's going to be excited once I tell him, hey, I started vlogging again. Um, I haven't even finished my eyelashes. Why do I do this to myself? I need a little bit more glue because I've been talking so much that the glue that I had dried. So another big reason why I also kind of was just like, it was easier to not pick up the camera, if I'm really honest with y'all, is the fact that my laptop is still broken. And um, I'm debating whether like I want to spend the money on getting a new one. I was going to start a Patreon, but I'm like, if I do a Patreon, that means I really have to commit. And I never want to feel like this is starting to be more of less of a hobby and more of a job. And if it were to ever become my job, like, you know, everybody else, then when you do it full time, then you have the time and it's just different you know when it's a hobby you can only do so much so I hate promising things when it's just a hobby right now um I still take it very seriously but yeah so it's kind of annoying even though it's like a total first world problems it's just annoying to use you know half the screen and not only that more than anything it I don't want to I every time I open it and close it like it's potential further damage and that's also Oh, this is annoying. Part of the reason why I haven't been vlogging as much. Because I don't want to open and close my laptop as much because I don't want to continue damaging the LCD screen. And then really not have a laptop for like my homework and all that good stuff. Um, I think, I think this is where I'm going to stop. What do you guys think? Oh, what do you all think? Anyways, this isn't much of a vlog, to be honest with you. But nonetheless, the first video after a couple of months is always a lot of chatter. But yeah, follow me on this journey. I know that you all essentially subscribe to my weight loss. And don't get me wrong, I'm still going to very much focus on that. But I really just want to talk. <laughs> I just really want to, I don't even want the editing to be super fancy anymore. Um, you know, here and there, of course, because I like learning, but I really just want this to be an outlet for me. You know, like people write poetry, people um, sing, people do their artistry and they share it on Instagram. This is my, my creative side. This is, this is where I'm like, this is where I let those feelings out and all of those emotions. So I don't really have anything else much to say. Um, maybe if y'all start asking me questions about all of this and that'll give me ideas ideas on answering them and talking more about this and honestly like ask any question like at this point I am just gonna talk I'm just gonna be open like 2018 is really my um I call it my NFG year <laughs> Thanksgiving. I'm just gonna be very honest at this point but in the last month honestly it's been like the worst uh, it's it's really has grown tremendously I want to go through all of this so yeah I'm probably gonna have somebody record I mean obviously I don't know if I can record the surgery nonetheless but like I want to record the whole thing you know this is part of my life and I'm not gonna put the camera down for a second when I really wanted to do this like two years ago and really go in and this is what I'm going through and 2018 I told myself that I was just really gonna focus on me I have been doing that for a long time time but this year really I'm really gonna be on some NFG um that's basically my my friend's hashtag for like no fucks given <laughs> that's really where I am and this is my life like this is what I'm going through and there I keep making myself I keep making excuses for myself as to why I can't pick up the camera um my friend was so kind to mail it to get it fixed the shutter remember I was having that issue um, and I need to put it to use too. Um, so thank you Melissa. I know she's gonna be excited about that But like this is what I'm going through and it's life and I need your encouragement and I also want to share um, 
you know, what I've learned and how I pick myself up. And, you know, I, I'm sure there are many more people um, that are have this tumor, this disease in their face, and maybe they just need someone like me um because i was trying to look for someone i kept googling it and like i said those life after videos were great but i really didn't find anybody that was filming themselves um kind of going through it <laughs> right now um but yeah this video is getting way too long so ask ask away um and i will definitely talk about it more and um next week i have those couple appointment and um when i get the medical terminology correctly and then I'll talk about that as well. So anyways, thank you so much if you are still watching this video after my continued disappearance. Um, and this is me. This is not the new me. This is just me. And this is what I'm going through. And just, I just, you know, thank you. And send me all of your positive thoughts and vibes and your prayers because I'm definitely going to need them. So I will see you in my next video. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to follow me on all my social media at I am Lolo and don't forget to subscribe.